experiences of that day. So uh, at some point, a the, what, the pin, the, from, the, the pin from the hinge, it, it stuck to the metal pin, the metal stuck pin. into the air. Okay. Into the it's wall. stuck onto the wall. It's stuck, stuck onto the wall. Until I touched it and then it fell. And then it, then it fell down. Yeah. Then the other is that you saw this blue light in the top window of in the blue top light. Window. And I walked Hello. from left to right and you could see, like if a TV was on, it was no, like There's okay. no electricity in the house and there's no doors and no windows uh -huh. at this point. And then then you saw this this person, this man that looked like came an apparition. Came the side of the house and came through the big iron gates how? up the driveway and then back. Now, are you sure it wasn't a shadow? How far was this man from you? I, Wait, I you didn't I, see it? I was there. Okay. Uh, mm. I'd say from here to where he that was, statue is. Where the statue is. Well, at the in, end of a driveway. Now that you've had plenty of time to think about it, what is your explanation for what you actually did well, see? Well, the story has a little tie to it. Right. So here's the clincher. So the lady that, that hired us, to, that let us go into the job, I couldn't see her the next day. After Wanda threw up, we packed our stuff. She was really scared the whole night. Okay, no, no wonder threw up the, the one time. You didn't tell why, he threw, why I threw it was because Eric decided to scare me and tell me ghosts were in the car and it scared me I just, bad. I, and then I, I was up. trying to make a little levity to this. <laughs> oh, anyway. I, and I bet I bet she appreciated that. He said that, it was that, in the back seat of the car her, with this. And, and I, and her, 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 I was kind of shaken up too. Her throwing up was the applause. Yes. Right, right. <laughs> But the weirdest thing that happened was the next day I called the lady to tell her I needed to give her the key back. And while I was on the phone with her, I asked her, so what's going on with this house? She goes, oh my God, this is what she, the lady tells me on the phone. She goes, oh my God, I forgot to tell you, the house is haunted. I'm like, Phew. I go, what are you talking about? She goes, that's why they're tearing it down. My boss and the appraiser went to the house. Can we, can we uh, get yeah. a little there? Um, not really. Yeah, so that really was the clinch. Okay, so she told you that the house was haunted. After, I didn't tell okay. her anything. Now, now, what, now what, when she was saying it's haunted, what did she say was haunted about the house? She said that the reason that they were tearing the house down it, was Because that. it was haunted. But but what what did she, when she said it was haunted, how did she articulate the hauntedness of the house? What did the she house do? The she, no, she said that when her boss and the architect went after they first purchased the house and they went to go appraise it that she didn't say exactly she uh -huh. said that a couple of things happened while they were in the house that led them to decide the architect to, would not okay, go back okay to let them to decide she to didn't to she didn't want to say what is the, no, that that happened no she didn't want to say but but she said that's what led them to that's why it's being demolished now, they decided to just so i remember now where's this house again this house was on lincoln boulevard in santa monica on uh, lincoln uh on santa monica boulevard right no, by santa monica the city on lincoln boulevard on okay. lincoln street so it's pretty close to Wurtz brothers antiques yeah well great yeah and that's 